Okay, so where did we land? We landed knee on belly. And again, when you're passing standing, one of the best ways to shut down the guard recovery is knee on belly. If I just try to dive the side control here, there's often going to be a moment where he can slip that bottom knee in. Knee on belly acts as a gate and just shuts everything down. And again, when we hold knee on belly, I'm always emphasizing to you. I'm sorry, Dan, I'm trying yeah. not to keep my weight on you. I'm always emphasizing you keep your head on this side of their head. My head passes a center line, I get light. What can we do with our grips? Well, we can hold hands here. We can hold here. We can hold here. Any of these are acceptable. Usually I just show to hold here first. And look what Dan's doing. This is a natural response that people will do when they start feeling weight on their ribs. And it's actually the wrong response. So the instant he does this and he starts pushing, he gives me a very good underhook and I'm elevated over him. For him to get his arm back is gonna be difficult. Even if he starts forcing his hand to the ground, my hand goes down. Now what we're gonna look at is a different variation of entering into the arm bar. I'm gonna take my left knee and I'm gonna dive toward the ground, but my knee's actually never gonna hit the ground. And then it's gonna come straight up. And you're gonna wind up in a good variation of quarter jujigatame. Whether this hand or rather this foot is under here or it's here doesn't really matter. We're gonna stay tight. Before he can connect his hands, we're gonna gather up his wrist. So as soon as we sit here, we gather before he can connect his hands. And I do not need to bring that foot over his belly to a full juji. As long as the arm's straight, I can finish here very well. My knees are gonna be pinched. His thumb's gonna be in the upper position. I'm gonna bring it this way. Your elbow's bad? No. Okay. I'm gonna start bringing it down. I'm gonna lift my hips. I'm gonna hyperextend. Okay, go very, very slow when you guys sit into this. Make sure you never fall back with an extended arm because your body weight falling down can actually hyperextend their elbow. So I usually fall with slack and then I'll slowly control and bring the arm in.